had a very good job. Uh, I, had, I was really well paid. I could have had a wonderful house. I could have had beautiful cars, but I had horses. I'm Lorraine. Um, I'm a horse owner. I've had horses for 56 years and I was just working out that other than about three weeks in my life I've seen a horse every day for 56 years. That's a long time. There's many times that I would have said negatively influenced my life. You look at the injuries on my body and They've only ever been caused by horses. But it's not the horses. It's me being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I think I've probably sold one horse in my lifetime. Um, I did rehome for um, a, about five years ago when I became quite ill. So I did need to reduce them. Excuse me, what did I say about bad business? Um, so um, I was lucky enough to find someone to take them. So I passed on those four. They were the last that I passed on. The rest have all died. Um, but it's made a big difference to her. For the first time in her life, she's been on her own. Um, so that's part of the reason I think she's using me as a plaything. So. Really, the majority of them, you know, have either passed on for their for their own welfare or um, they've died. I still feel the hurt because I see one of the horses every day. I pass him in the field, and I always say hello to him, even though he can't hear me because I'm about half a mile away. My first Welsh cob. Um, and I was wanting to cross her with a thoroughbred and um, for something bigger to ride. And she was out in the field. I had her put and fall, and I was there in the night she falls. Um, and she was 11 days old when I went to see them in the morning, and she was hanging from a tree um, by a rope. And that was, well, probably the most traumatic thing I've ever experienced in my life. It was going to be the end of horses for me. Um, and I think it, probably he knew me better than me in that, um, you know, he realised that if I ended there, I would be stuck there. Right. Okay. Okay. You go back. Thank you. Thank you. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. I would say on, on the whole they've been positive. My family would question that because almost all the tears I've shed in my life have been over horses. And the number of times they've said to me things like, why have you still got them? You know, you sh it's time you got rid of the horses. Well, that's because they don't understand. They've not tried to understand the emotional contact. It's a wonderful thing when you can get, you know, a half ton animal to listen to you and do exactly what you want, um, which is rare. Um, but, um, you know, it's, it's a great self-esteem booster. Was it worth it? All these horses in my life and everything. Yeah, you've just got to look at this and know, yes, it was worth it. Yeah. I oh, know, you've got beautiful teeth too. They're very intelligent horses and very emotionally intuitive. 